Hello guys, this is the Swotar guy here. I want to go a little bit, speculate a little bit more, because I kind of like these uh, stuffs. But I wanted to talk about the Star Wars hype. So, Star Wars Knights and the Eternal Empire hype, pretty much. And uh, on, on one topic here about uh, could this, like, save or get a little bit more subscribers for Star Wars The Old Republic? The answer is probably yes. Now, let's talk about through all of these or why do I think that or why, why is that going to happen? Now, first of all, let's talk uh, about the rewards. So, in case you didn't know, Shea Wizla, uh is going to be one of the rewards. Now, a lot of people are pissed are about it, uh, and a lot of people are all loving it as well. But a lot of people, I'm reading one of, a lot of comments about this, and uh, they are saying like, okay, this one is not that bad. But, I mean, Shea Wizla, we're getting it, I'm loving it. But at some point, that is the good thing, and they are saying, oh, okay, I need to subscribe for that because I need Shea Wizla. On the other hand, uh, a lot of people like saying, okay, we're gonna get Shea Wizla, really? That means we're not gonna use Shea Wizla anymore, and Shea Wizla, is gonna, Shea Wizla is gonna be useless, which I completely understand as well. Now, uh, the hype for that is just started, like... Uh, a lot of subscribers are coming thanks to like this Shea Wizla companion. Probably the Recon Walker is probably not gonna be a big deal. But also another thing which coming up is if you subscribed between October 25 and November 27, you will get a free day early access. Now, in the three days, pretty much you can do like every story and everything. But also, what didn't mention, you need to be a premium status player, so that means a subscriber, to getting these. So that means they, this is going to be free. But uh, it's not going to be free if you are not a subscriber. So that means those players who are prefer status and free to players they are not allowed to play knights of the eternal throne i mean maybe they can play like some of the bits like uh, probably they can go up to level or maybe they can go up can't go up to level 70 but maybe they can do crew, crew skills maybe uh, about that i don't know but definitely not gonna play the story and some of the main bits which is gonna be the important stuff in uh, Knights of the Eternal Throne. Now, that is that. Uh, that hype just started, so that is uh, a good thing actually for Star Wars The Old Republic because they're gonna get, uh, of course, EA. We are talking about an EA is, uh, I'm not gonna say like a, uh, like a lot of times and a lot of people are saying it's, it's a money hungry company. They are, but still, the game is still alive. And uh, a lot of people like saying, okay, we have like one year and after that water is shutting down because it's not worth it for EA. Maybe. We don't know. We'll see. But this this thing uh, is, is going to be good. And uh, that is going to be a, a savior as well for Star Wars The Old Republic. But another savior which is coming thanks to YouTube... And that is going to be the reaction channels. Now, I know it's, I'm not like talking about other channels and stuff like that. But since last year, or pretty much uh, last year they started. Uh, last year, like a lot of reaction channels are starting to getting up. Like, uh, thanks to that issue with the Fine Brothers. If you didn't know that, if you didn't know about YouTube, then check it out. Uh, but... The reaction channels, to be perfectly honest, is getting up. There is a lot of reaction channels right now. There is like tons of reaction channels on YouTube. And those channels are reacting to the Knights of the Eternal Throne trailer, the cinematic, which is sick. Like, if, if they are saying for the players, like, that is sick, 
that means, okay, maybe I'm gonna try that game. For example, Tyron Magnus, an 800,000 subscriber, subscribed YouTube channel said that. Like, maybe I'm gonna try that game. Maybe he, he, he didn't. But that is gonna be a little bit like profit as well. Like, okay, maybe if Tyron is gonna playing it, maybe I'm gonna playing it, because why not? Or something like that. Same goes to other like hundreds of thousands of YouTubers who are reacted to it. Also another thing which is uh, the views on that video who, what is posted uh, uh, when is it posted? La last Thursday I think? Uh, yeah last Thursday. It has now 1.2 million views now already which is incredible I mean the trailer deserves it because it's incredibly good but uh, actually that is almost like half uh, the views as like the deceived trailer which was the very first one the Knights of the Fallen Empire trailer received 9 million views so I don't know if this is gonna be like close to that but we'll see to be perfectly honest I don't know so the Star Wars hype is started now this what this hype is gonna get of course a lot of subscribers like every expansion uh, we expecting a little bit more subscribers but I don't know how is this gonna affect the game like of course it's gonna be a good way to affect it but maybe the server is again gonna be like on a heavy or maybe on a full capacity we don't know it yet but the Star Wars hype as I said it started so it started really good and unless they not gonna fuck up the gameplay uh, or like story or anything that is gonna be good but uh, yeah that is what I wanted to talk about. So a lot of haters who saying is Star Wars dead, at the moment, no. At the moment they are just getting, I think, more subscribers or at least free to players or players. And that is just good for them. The more players who playing, then it's a more more Bioware and EA wanted to do the game. So that is good for the for the game. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. What do you guys think? about this like uh, eternal throne hype let me know in the comment section below because i wanted to see like your theories and speculations about it because at the moment it's starting really good but we'll see if maybe maybe it's not gonna be like a really big hype maybe it's just gonna be two months and after that next year january it's gonna be nothing but we'll see we don't know yet until then i hope you guys did enjoy if you do smash the thumbs up and let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about that See you guys next time. Bye-bye.